Tito Night Traffic, Skyline 570, Delta Bravo is taking active runway 22, going to be a departure to uh, the southeast. I was exploring around in my parents' attic and uh, I found uh, some flight books, some books about, really some books about flying, right? They belonged to my father um, and of course I wanted to dive into these things and learn as much as possible about aviation as I got deeper and deeper. And my mom would take me to uh, Barnes & Noble to get all these model airplane news, a uh, flying magazine. Of course, you know, f cars were my first love, so I would get a uh, magazine of Forza, um, RC car stuff. I remember distinctly this book simply called Airplanes. Uh, and in airplanes, it had the progression of aircraft up to, up to that point. So really, the pinnacles, right? Um, let's say, okay, so of course the Wright Flyer's in there, right, from the Wright Brothers. Um, then the, uh, I, I, just the shape and the capabilities of the Concorde really appealed to me. So that became my mission from then on was to become a captain on the Concorde for either British Airways or Air France, because that was all who flew it at the time. And uh, growing up in my neighborhood and understanding the dynamic um, between my neighborhood and what would typically be in a cockpit, I knew that I was kind of up against um, some uh, heavy odds here. So, um, even from a young age, I knew I had to be uh, 10 times better than everyone. Um, so that led me into the idea that I would um, get the mechanical background, which led me down the path of the next step, um, get my um, airframe and power plant uh, rating from aviation high school, which I did eventually do, and that uh, led me into the career that I'm in today. Growing up in Jamaica, Queens, you don't have, you know, the uncle, sister, brother, cousin that has the, an idea even of what it takes to become a pilot, much less a commercial pilot, much less an aircraft mechanic, because that just wasn't around us. In addition to that, while you're going through this process of trying to reach your goals and it being so far out there, you could quickly come across a lot of people that will say, dude, what, what the hell are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you gonna be an astronaut next? You know, um, it just seems so unobtainable and so far out there. I first met Lawson back in February of 2020. My daughter and I moved here because I got a new job in Tampa and uh, we stay at his Airbnb. That's how we met. The original plan was just for a month until I found a new home and I could buy it. But then it's end up, COVID was hitting us and the whole process would delay. So I end up staying there for three months. He helped me when I was staying there uh, with a lot of things. He just being a great host. He, we moved here, but I got furlough. So I didn't have enough budget to do all the renovation and Lawson actually offered his help to help me renovate the house so we can keep the cost low. And um, after that, we just become really close friends and finally my husband moved down here and we just become like brothers and sisters. I think the concept of doing this travel series of his is amazing. The fact that it could change somebody's life, that is just beautiful. Because, because there are so many kids out there that they grow up poor, don't have anything, but when they can see who he was and who he has become, I think that is a great inspiration for them. And I think that in this life, if you could change just maybe one person's life, that's, that's pretty fulfilled. I wanna, I wanna bridge that gap, or at least do my part in bridging that gap, because I, I read a statistic last night, and I knew about the statistic from long ago, but every time I come across it, it rings again and again and again, uh, 
only 3% of African American people are pilots. And even less than that are aircraft mechanics. And now you have both. And then even less than that are aircraft mechanics, pilots, and inspectors, the um, private side of things, right? Um, and even less than that on the commercial side. So, I mean, um, we're, we're at that point, what, four levels deep? So um, once you get that deep, it's kind of like, I, I feel that there's a responsibility there to at least do a, a little bit, my little part, and, um, and making sure that whatever little information I can um, put out there is, is, is out there, honestly, um, so that we can, we can kind of bridge that gap. Uh, you know in any way possible. You know, if it reaches one person, then I feel that it's a success. I think it'll reach more, but only time will tell where that will go.